stunning vistas. Fascinating geology. Unique flora and fauna. All tied together with a unique human history unlike anywhere else in the world. These are the Apostle Islands. The sun rises over the islands, beginning again a cycle that has lasted here for over 10,000 years. As the spring sunlight hits the thick layers of winter ice and snow, a trickle of water begins, flowing over the rich sandstone cliffs, closer and closer to the sloshing shores of Lake Superior carving eddies, and the thick aeolian sandstone that make up the cliffs here. The results are magnificent. With erosion from the churning ice and snow above, and the crashing water below, the layers of auburn sandstone are carved into magnificent sculpture. Each layer of red sandstone represents an era of history. Eons ago, these towering red cliffs were once the wind-driven sands of coastal dunes, compressed over centuries into the stones we see today. Just 10,000 years ago, the glaciers that carved the Great Lakes opened up these cliffs and created the wonders we see here today. In winter, the frosty waters of Lake Superior freeze into stunning crystal displays. The water draining down into the lake from the region's many brooks and streams freeze to create dazzling chandeliers of ice. In winter, the waters around these islands are treacherous and unforgiving, and few visitors dare to venture out to witness these stunning crystal displays. As the days grow longer and the summer sun shines brighter, these magnificent monuments of ice are lost until next season. For all the island's natural wonders, many visitors find themselves even more entranced with the fascinating human history of the Apostle Islands. Originally home to the Red Cliff Native American tribe, the islands became a hub of logging and fur trading beginning around the 1850s. To support the heavy commerce over Lake Superior, a series of lighthouses were built along the islands guiding ships away from the dangerous rocky shoals. In total, six lighthouses would be constructed, the oldest of which, on Sand Island, built in 1881, is still in operation to this day. On the outermost Apostle Island, the Devil's Island Lighthouse, built in 1901, is the tallest and most modern of all the lighthouses in the islands. Although none remain today, the islands once held a thriving community of fishermen, farmers, loggers, and tradesmen. Today, the remnants of these island inhabitants can still be seen scattered throughout the forest and woodlands of the island, slowly being consumed by the dense thickets and brush and the ever persistent weathering of time. The ecosystems of the islands are unique, unlike anything found elsewhere in the world. The dense sandstone is nearly impermeable to rainwater, leaving thick marshes and bogs scattering the surface of the islands. The combination of extreme moisture and a plethora of decaying logs and plant life mean that the islands are a perfect environment for a myriad of fungi and mushrooms. Here we see the birch polypore, a type of fungus that grows on dead and dying birch trees. Next, we see the tinder polypore, also known as the hoof fungus. The tinder polypore gets its name from its extreme usefulness in starting fires. Finally, we see the northern cinnabar polypore, a fungus characterized by its brilliant red color and leathery texture. It is commonly found on plant matter in its final stages of decomposition. Regardless of what brings you to the islands, all who come here leave with unique experiences and a more profound connection to nature that can only be found in the Apostle Islands.